Hey there planners, today I wanna to talk about five important reasons you should be printing your own journal and planner stickers in 2024. Go grab your planners and let's get planning. If you've watched my videos before, you probably know that I am a huge fan of printing and cutting my own stickers for my journals and planners. There are a lot of reasons why I feel so strongly about that, and I want to share those with you today as potentially something you should be doing in 2024. Before I dive right in, I do want to say welcome to those of you who are new and maybe don't know about my love of printing your own stickers. Welcome to Planning Annie. We are super excited to have you here. Here at Planning Annie, we are a tribe of planner enthusiasts. We love our planners. We love our journals. We love to-do lists. We love being productive. We love getting things done. We also love all the supplies that come along with our planners and journals. We love the creativity and using mixed media and all of the stationary supplies. So if that sounds like something you would also enjoy, we do hope that you'll consider subscribing and becoming part of our community. Make sure you hop down in the comments below. There's always a great discussion. The best ideas are in the comments below from Planning Annie subscribers. So add yours down there, ask questions, answer questions, and jump into the conversation after the video. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I'm super glad you're here. And uh, I'm talking about one of my favorite topics today, which is printing and cutting your own stickers. So I have been a huge fan of this for a couple of years now for many reasons, which I wanna share with you today so that you can begin thinking about how you want to approach stickers in 2024. If you use stickers in your planner, there are a ton of options for you to save money, to increase your customization, to get rid of that FOMO where you're afraid of not buying a sticker sheet and then afraid of using it and that whole cycle of hoarding and all of that you can get rid of. So that's what I want to talk about today. Printing your own stickers um, or buying pre-made ones, each of them have sort of their own advantages and their drawbacks, and it really depends on your specific needs and your resources. So I wanna talk about some of the benefits first, but I am gonna talk about things that you need to consider before you go headlong into fully printing your own stickers. All right, let's start with number one. The number one reason for printing your own stickers is customization. Um, when you print your own st stickers, you, can, you have complete control over size and the amount that you print. You can tailor the stickers specifically to the planner that you're using. And let me show you an example of this. So I pulled out some stickers that I have already printed and cutted, and then I have some stickers that I haven't cut yet. Um, just to kind of show you a couple of different sides of the phases. So I wanted to show these stickers specifically. These are from Grand Plans, and I'm going to have all the supplies that I talk about listed down below. I partner with Fran over at Grand Plans, and I absolutely adore her stickers. I do have a discount code for Planning any subscriber down in the description box below uh, for you to take advantage of. So I printed these stickers and I printed them to full size, not really paying a lot of attention to the size that I'm printing them because I'm going to be using them in my Stology, which is just a blank notebook. So it doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to fit my stickers into a certain box or width or height. Um, I really get to pick what I want these stickers to, to look like and where I want them to go. Um, I only printed these two sheets because even though there were a whole bunch of other sheets that came in the kit, I really only needed these two sheets um, because I don't need all the boxes and all of the others. So I didn't have to, I'm not wasting those sheets, okay? So there's there's one example. You'll see here that I have printed this kit. This is from Design Lovely Studio, and I believe it's called Mystic, this kit. And you can see that the boxes are way smaller, way smaller. So if I just compare this box to this box, you can see that this one is, these are way smaller. And that is because I am specifically printing them for my Hobonichi cousin. And the width of the Hobonichi cousin weekly columns is 1.3 inches. So I have printed these to be 1.3 inches. Now, if I wanted to use this kit in an Erin Condren, I could blow up the size and have it be 
more like this size. So it's one and a half or whatever I want it to be. Um, I could resize it. So that is such, if you think about the power of that. So I buy this sticker kit um, from Fran at Grand Plans. And I have this in my collection. It's stored in my digital files. And now I want to print this beautiful kit called Great Outdoors because it's fall and I'm feeling this vibe right now. I can print it for an Erin Condren planner. I can print it for a bullet journal that doesn't matter about the size. I can print it for a Hobonichi cousin. I can print it for a plum paper planner or a cultivate what matters, like any of the brands. I can resize this to be that size. I can even print it multiple times for multiple planners without paying any more money. <laughs> So that is powerful. So the customization is really, really awesome. And also the ability to personalize exactly what you're printing. If you only want these two sheets, maybe you only want this sheet. Um, and you can do that as well. There are some, I wanted to pull these out. So there are some like little icons and journaling uh, stickers in most sticker kits. I wanted to pull this out to show you could even just print these. If you just wanted a couple of journaling stickers to sprinkle around, um, through your journal entry or, um, you know, your weekly pages, you could just print these. So there's a, just a ton of flexibility about what you can print. I hinted at the second reason, uh, but I want to go into it a bit more, and that is cost effectiveness. So if you're a sticker user, obviously I'm a sticker user. <laughs> if you're a sticker user, then you're going to be using stickers consistently in your planning, whether they're functional stickers or decorative stickers or, you know, boxes or time strips or icons, whatever it is, date headers, whatever it is. If you use stickers, you're going to be using them pretty consistently, meaning that you are going to need to purchase large quantities of stickers over the year. If you are printing your own, you're only purchasing that one time. So for example, I'm only purchasing these date headers one time, but now I have them and I can use them as many times as I want to for as many years as I want to, as you know, just over and over again. I can print them different sizes. I can just print the Monday through Sunday date covers and not all the rest. I just have a ton of options. And so it is over the long run, very, very cost effective to print your own stickers because you can continuously use them without having to repurchase. Now, there is a bit of an initial investment, which I will talk about in a minute, but I can already tell you it is worth it. And I'll talk more in more detail about that in a minute. All right, I am not a patient person. And so reason number three, why printing your own stickers is the way to go in 2024 is definitely for anyone who is like me and has no patience. And that is because I don't like to wait. <laughs> so sticker shops, particularly the smaller sticker shops that are kind of, you know, they're entrepreneurs, they're individuals or families and, you know, they're at capacity, um, especially the really popular ones. So to purchase a sticker set and then wait eight weeks or 10 weeks or even six weeks for that sticker set to show up, I am not that patient. I wish I was. And in some cases I have to be. Like if I really, really want something coming out of a smaller shop, um, then I have to be that patient. But I don't want to be that patient if I don't have to be. And printing your own stickers is print on demand. So when I want a new sticker set like this one uh, from Grand Plans, this is Meadows in Bloom and is absolutely gorgeous for spring. It is one of my favorites. I am definitely going to be using this again in 2024. But I go shopping on the Grand Plans website. I see this absolutely gorgeous kit. It is exactly the vibe I'm going for. I put it in the cart, I purchase it. Two minutes later, I download it. 10 minutes later, I have it printed out and ready to go. Like that is really print on demand. And then the next time I wanna use it, or if I want to print it out again, I don't even have the whole shopping experience. I just go print it out again because I already have it immediately available. So that on demand, 
you there's no waiting, there's no bulk orders, there's no pre-sales, there's no competing and, you know, getting up and trying to be on the website and, you know, ninja fingers to be the first one and like, oh, forget about it. That is crazy. And I don't have the patience for that. So printing your own stickers and buying printable stickers avoids all of that. All right. Another reason that I absolutely love uh, printable stickers and I'm going to pull up this one. This is one that I'm getting ready to use now where, um, you know, next month is January. So I'm thinking about January stickers. I have not, I have printed this out, but I haven't actually put it through my cutting machine yet. Um, this, this one is called sweater weather. It's so beautiful. It is so gorgeous. I mean, that is just a vibe right there. So another reason that I love it is because I don't have the worry of hoarding stickers. When I used to purchase stickers like from shops that I still absolutely love, like Planner Kate or Coffee Monster Co., all of those wonderful um, Hello Petite Paper, all of those places, they have absolutely gorgeous stickers. I was so hesitant to use my stickers because I knew once I used it, that was it. It was gone. Um, you know, and they were beautiful and it was a one-time deal and, you know, c'est la vie, we should use our, use our supplies and not hoard them. But, you know, something in me wanted to wait for the most special occasion to make sure I was using that sticker in the best way possible. And in some cases, I just had stickers upon stickers upon stickers that I wasn't using. When you print your own stickers, you are avoiding that fear, first of all, the fear of missing out, like I have to buy it now, because if I don't buy it now, it will never come back again. You, you avoid that. You also avoid the fear of, I have to use this at the most opportune time in order to get the value out of the sticker that I purchased. Well, no, because if I put it in my stickers, if I put it in my planner or my journal this week, and I decide, gosh, I really wanted to use it next week, I just print another set no big deal. There's, it's an endless supply once I purchase it. So I no longer feel like I have to hoard stickers. I actually use the stickers that I have, which is wonderful to have that freedom and to really release creativity, which is the fifth reason that I would recommend you uh, consider printing your own stickers in 2024. And that is all of the uh, creative experimentation aspects of printing your own stickers. So I have had so much fun. I am most recently taking these sticker kits in Cricut and kind of creating different shapes with them. So cutting out shapes like journaling kits, trying to make my own journaling kits from the sticker sheets that I have bought just by using uh, shapes and cutouts and the tools that I have in the, the Cricut design space, which is the tool that I use. I've also printed, taken these um, stickers, these box stickers, and printed them the size of my planner. So if I'm using an A5 planner, I would print this in an A5 page size and print it on vellum and use it as a tip-in. So there's just all kinds of things that you can do. You can make it a background for a page. You could bring it into Canva and write your goals on top of it or put a quote on top of it. Like there's a ton of fun, creative stuff that you can do for your own planner, for your personal use um, by using printable stickers, having those printable stickers. So those are the five reasons, you know, your, your experimentation and your creativity, you're getting rid of the fear of missing out and the fear of using your stickers. It's cost effective. You don't have to wait, have that customization ability to use in multiple planners. Those are all fantastic reasons for you to consider printing your own stickers in 2024. If you are thinking about diving in and, you know, my reasons have convinced you <laughs> that printing your own stickers in 2024 is going to be a great idea, what are some things that you need to consider? First of all, you need to consider that there is an initial investment. And this was a hard thing for me to get over at first. So if you're going to print and cut your own stickers, then you may want to consider getting a machine that actually prints and cuts. And there are two major options on the market. One is Cricut and the other is Silhouette. I personally have a Cricut. I love it. I've had it for a little over two years, maybe three years now. Um, it is fantastic. It's does exactly what I want it to do. I've never had any issues with it. And I feel like the 
Um, the learning initially was fairly easy. There are a ton of things that you can do with Cricut, and I have dabbled just a tiny bit in other things outside of printing and cutting my own stickers, but I mainly use it for printing and cutting my own stickers. And so that's one option. The Silhouette, I can't speak to at all. I know a lot of people really love it, and there are a ton of videos and uh, websites and blogs and uh, posts and things like that that you can learn a lot more about the Silhouette on. Um, and you know, it seems to be a great tool, but I cannot speak to it at all because I have never, I have no experience whatsoever with the Silhouette. When you go to buy printable stickers, most printable sticker shops do offer kits that will work on the Silhouette or the Cricut. And so you just have to watch for that, but most shops offer both and I've never run into a real problem with that. So, but that initial investment, it is, I mean, it is a the Cricut or the Silhouette is an investment. It is a, a piece of machinery. You need to have a place to put it and you need to make that initial investment. What I will tell you is the way that I have been able to print my own stickers in different sizes, reuse kits, things like that, the Cricut has paid for itself uh, 50 times over again in the last three years. Like it, it paid for itself in the first year in the money that I saved on sticker kits because I use stickers. I use them you know, all the time, every day in my planner, and it has more than paid for itself. So that is something to consider. Um, the other thing you have to consider is before you, at least with the Cricut, the Cricut is not a printer. You actually have to print out your stickers and then cut them on the Cricut. So you can see here's a printed, the print quality is pretty good. I will have my printer listed down in the description box below. My printer is not a super fancy printer. Um, it's just kind of an everyday printer, but you do need to have a printer and um, you need to be thinking about quality. And that may require you to kind of play around with your printer settings. I have had some conversations with some subscribers um, over on our Facebook group or, you know, in the comments of these videos where I talk about printing my own stickers, where folks are kind of figuring out how to um, adjust the settings. And typically folks can adjust the settings and get to the place where they have um, good print quality. But, but that is something that you want to think about depending on the age of your printer and, you know, do you have the ability to adjust the quality settings to what you would want. Um, time. So, while ordering stickers requires you to be patient and for them to arrive to you via the mail, um, you have to have patience and time to dedicate to printing your own stickers. So that means, well, I do it monthly. So once a month I sit down and say, hmm, what stickers do I want to use next month? And I will just spend a day kind of printing or an afternoon just kind of printing out my own, you know, choosing the stickers that I want to print and printing them out and cutting them. It does take a little bit of time. Um, so you have to think about that. Do you have the time to actually sit down um, or is it easier for you to order and be patient and wait? It is never easier for me to be patient and wait. <laughs> so um, that's something to consider as well. And, and then, you know, overall, do you want to invest in the other supplies because there are other supplies. So for example, sticker paper. You can see on these that I have um, printed and are I'm getting ready to cut. These are shipping labels. Um, they're just big shipping labels. I get the sticker paper off Amazon. So, you know, that's a supply. The ink, you know, I'm going through colored ink. So you have to invest in colored ink. All of that added together, I will tell you is still I'm saving a ton of money um, compared to ordering a sticker kit for, you know, $8 and having one use. I'm still saving a ton of money. So those are all things that you have to consider. Ultimately, the decision really depends on your needs, your priorities, what's important to you. But if you are looking to save a little money and get a little creative, have more customization in 2024, Printing your own stickers is a really great option. I have a lot of videos about printing your own stickers and how to use Cricut if that's the tool that you're using. I will have some of those listed down below if you want to check those out more. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I would love to hear your questions, your thoughts, your comments, all of that down in the um, comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up to let me know. Subscribe to Planet Annie for more content like this. And as always, thanks for planning with me.